Yo, what is up, guys? It's me, Brandon. Oh, I felt like giving you guys a video based on my my comic book collection. Yeah, my comic book collection. I have like ten boxes, ten long board boxes. I will give you guys the history of these awesome ten board long boxes right after right after the main title sequence. Hit it. <laughs> These awesome ten board long boxes, I will give you a history. Oh yes. It was in the year 2007 when I started writing, or sorry, reading comic books. At the time, I was reading Marvel Adventures and basically all Marvel comic books. Period. During 2007... I was introduced to Green Lantern number 12 from Jeff Johns, and I was really memorized by it because it had Cyborg Superman with 10 Green Lantern rings, and I thought that was awesome. By the end of 2007, I was completely hooked on DC comic books. It didn't take me until 2008 when I realized Marvel comic books had a lot of events and I didn't have enough money going. By the time 2008 and 2009 rolled around, I was pretty much into DC comic books and I decided to get rid of my Marvel comic books because I just didn't care for them anymore. And I thought I did a good job. But then... Then everything took a turn for the worst. Because I wanted to get back into Marvel comic books, but then... I realized that they were doing a lot of events, and I didn't care for it. Afterwards, when I was in high school, I decided to pick up more DC comic books than ever because they had a graphic novel section in the library, and I loved it. And I remember when I was in school, in the library section, they had a little graphic novel section full of DC and Marvel comic books, and one of them was Infinite Crisis. And seeing Superboy Prime for the first time, I was completely in shock, because I thought I knew everything about DC Comics. But it turns out, nope, I was wrong. And I've read other graphic novels from their section before, and they were not as cool and fun as reading Infinite Crisis, period. One of the worst comic books I read was Identity Crisis, which is something that I want to do for a video later on this year, before the end of this year, actually. Um, it's a book that I have highly disregarded, and you will find out why I do that. But let's get back on to this topic. I loved DC comic books ever since 2007, because if it wasn't for the single issues, it was for the major events. And one of the major events that I loved extremely was Blackest Night. 
because, well, let's face it, zombies and black lanterns equals good books to sell. And then afterwards, after I read that book, I read a book called Brightest Day. And let's just say Brightest Day was pretty pale in comparison to, well, Blackest Night. And don't get me wrong, I've read a lot of horrible events, and a horrible event was Final Crisis. The reason I didn't want to do that in this video was because it was Grant Morrison on steroids, and I don't like it. The other thing that I didn't like, other than Final Crisis and Identity Crisis, was the starting of the New 52. Because, well, New 52 had a lot of problems and it went on for five years. The thing that I love about the Rebirth special that came out in 2016 was the fact that we were going to get the old 52 and the new 52 all blended into one. And I was really excited about it. But then again, DC Comics has this shtick of... Whether a comic book succeeds, it's, it, then it does great. And if it doesn't, then it gets cancelled. Which is, in my opinion, the stupid decision that DC Comic Books has ever made. But then again, a good event was Doomsday Clock. Because I thought, hey, this is a good comic book. I might as well read it. And guess what? It took me two years to finally get all 12 of the comic books. At first, I was very pissed off. Like, why would you do that? But then again, the art was okay, so I gave it a mixed review. Because I thought it was pretty great. But then again, as DC comic books tends to slip by sometimes in sales with characters I just thought maybe it wasn't doing pretty good at first because it took two years to finish 12 issues when it couldn't when it could have taken 12 months to finish an issue but this is not the only problem we have faced before with DC no, this is not the only problem. We People have faced many problems with DC before, including Convergence, which was a pretty messed up issue, but then again, I completely loved everything about it. And that is hopefully another comic book graphic novel that I will do, hopefully before the end of the year. Because that and Identity Crisis are the two main comic book graphic novels I would like to review before the end of the year. And, well, yeah, this is all that I have to do uh, for the history of, well, the history of me collecting DC comic books. Um, I didn't put everything into it because, well, it would take me... A lot longer and I don't really have a lot of time today to do that um, but yeah I've also read a lot of other graphic novels during my time when I was reading comic books for DC and you guys will definitely see me reviewing more of my graphic novels that I've collected over the years because I want to show them to you guys. Including stuff that you've never heard me say before on this channel. So, so the, yeah, this is the ending of my video. I just wanted to give you a quick, quick brief of my history with DC Comic Books. I've practically given 10 years of my life reading these fantastic comic books, and you guys should be getting 
these physical comic books. Whether if it's in your local comic book shop or mycomicbookshop.com, that's a really good website you should be doing. Uh, if you need back issues or current issues and you don't like digital, or you can go to Amazon and order them online. So yeah, this is the end of my video. Please like and subscribe and do the notification, and I will see you in the next video.